Banks on the beat. Hi Cine Babes, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this style, this little half up, half down crimp style on a 5x5 closure wig from my business. So getting right into it, basically all I did was section each side of my wig off. I split it down the middle in the closure and then just put it into two halves and chose whichever half that I was going to start with. Then the hairspray that I'm going to be using is the ISO Plus 24 Hour Holding Spray. I love this hairspray. This is the only one that I use because, you know, it's just at my house, honestly. But to every section, I sprayed it with that. And I'm using my Precision Comb from Sensity Beauty. Everything will be linked down below that I'm using. I use that just to comb it through to make sure that every strand has some. And then I took my Conier, um Waver. I really can't, like, I don't know the full, full name. But again, it'll be linked. And basically all I did was I took each section and when I started at the top, I counted to 10 and that's when I moved to the next section and I made sure to start wherever I stopped. So wherever the last wave was, that's where I started the next set. And I made sure to keep the iron pushed up so that I wouldn't be weighing down the waves and be stretching them out. I wanted them to be very, you know, wavy. I wanted to hold good. I didn't want them to drop that fast. So that's basically what I did and that's what I'm going to do throughout this whole video, honestly. But um, just keep watching. It's very easy. Crimping hair does take a long, long, long time. This probably took me like probably three to four hours to do. I was up all night doing this. But that's basically what I did all the way up until I got to the top. So when I get to the top and to the closure, I'll come back and explain what I did up there. And these next couple clips are very, very, very sped up. I still was holding each section for 10 seconds. Oh, no, no, Jesus. I was still holding each section for 10 seconds before I moved on because I really wanted it to set in. But I just want to let you guys know that this is, like, super sped up and that I still was holding them for that long to make sure that everything was set. Okay, so now I'm at the top. I'm finally finished. She's looking good. So I still have the top half off and I'm taking my Sensitive Beauty Wax Stick. No, these items are not for sale, but I do have them. I just use them for myself. But basically, I'm just adding some to the roots of the closure to cover up those tracks. And then I'm taking my hot comb, my Andy's hot comb, and I'm making sure to get everything nice and flat. And I know how I want my baby hair, so when it comes to the front, I just hot combed everything going back because I like that kind of pushed up look with the middle part. So I did that. And then after that, I did my baby hairs. I didn't do them on camera because, you know, baby hairs just, it take a lot. So on this next clip, I'm going to have the band already placed on where I did it. 
And here I'm hot combing everything up into a ponytail and just trying to get the ponytail to my liking. So I did it about two times to get it to how I like because I wanted it in the middle. And then I split that ponytail into three different sections and I crimped all three of those sections. But I went ahead and put my scrunchies in because you know it's for my gender reveal. So I had a pink and a blue scrunchie for that. And I just went down each section and crimped it how I normally did. And that's basically how I did the style. After that, I'm going to take the wrap off so you guys can see the baby hair. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to see more videos like this, like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in my next one. This is Sin signing off. Peace.